hello dear researchers today i am going to show you how to create and use modified gompers equation so first go to analysis fitting and nonlinear curve fit after this we are going to create new fitting function and we are going to change the uh, function name to modified gompers equation modified gompers and function type is expression then we are going to click the next button okay the space uh, is removing after that next button we have uh, pressed and we have to assign the independent and dependent variable also parameters and constant so in modified gompers equation the independent variable is time which is t dependent variable is h that is cumulative hydrogen production for our case and parameters are p r and lambda lambda for lag time r for rate of hydrogen production and p for uh, maximum production here constant is e so lambda is not taking here uh, software is not uh, taking lambda uh, that's why we are going to change this to x in at lambda space we are replacing with x then click next button and put the equation here next what is the fermentation time we have to add it here it may be 120 hour or 240 hour then click the run button if it comes one then it's okay your equation is okay then press next and copy this function and paste it without using this function it also works you can check that So at last we have finished the function, we have created uh, modified Gompers equation successfully then we are going to put data in a sheet which is in origin. We are using modified Gompers equation in origin row 8.5 version. So we are taking long name as x and y here a x means it's for x axis and y means b y means it's for y axis uh, we have given the units r and ml so at zero r there is no uh, product or hydrogen formation that is zero at six r 100 ml hydrogen production at eight r 2 over 40 hydrogen production at 12 bar 380 ml hydrogen production <coughs> we are creating creating the graph 
with x axis from 0 to 24 hour and y axis is from 0 to uh, 600 hour you can see this in excel sheet after that we created the uh, scatter plot further we are going to uh, add modified uh, gumpert's equation for power fitting purpose uh, so go to analysis then uh, fitting and nonlinear curve fit next uh, user defined function and select the function modified gumpert's equation what you have created then you click that button it will come like this so you have to put the expected value of them and here is the core fitting of gumper equation it will uh, a report will be generated also you can see the graph here uh, we are changing the uh, report uh, table for hydrogen production we are just adding the names hydrogen production for p r for uh, rate of production and x for lifetime we are coming to graph the graph has been uh, generated properly so here p is 625 ml r is 129 ml and x is 3.6 r adjacent r square is uh, 0.99 i am going to add the unit in cumulative hydrogen production which is represented by x also changing the name to modify it compared fit next i am going to thicken uh, the lines the curved lines so go to plot then select the width so 2 inch and red is the color it's okay here is it next i am going to add the error bars that's why i first selected uh, the point and go to the error bar here i set the percentage to one percent after that here we can add uh, the errors error bar results you can calculate here or uh, copy from excel sheet or any other document where you have it you can just uh, overwrite those values and error bars will shown here it's not shown because uh, our error errors are um, very less now i'm going to change it the value of errors has been changed and it is going to see soon So at 6 and 12 hour, the error I have given is 18 and 20. So you can uh, see here the up and down errors. So next I am going to export this in TIF format or JPG format what you need. Uh, for better image quality, you have to select the 600 DPI. Uh, currently I am renaming and uh, doing the path selection where to save next i am going to image size image setting and uh, select it as 600 dpi resolution uh, so it will be exported soon
here the graph is exported Now we, have, we are going to edit the modified Gumpers equation and use it for curve fitting with these data. So first going to fitting, first going to analysis, then fitting, then nonlinear non curve fit. For the we have selected user defined modifies Gumpers equation and click the edit fitting function tab. Next check for any editings. Here I have added unit and meanings. Now I have to add e, e value that is constant 2.718. Previously I have not done that. So it was uh, during curve fitting function creation I have not use this e value to 2.718 that's why it's showing here one now initialization code uh, i have pasted here then finish our editing part is finished now we are going to add modified gumpert equation fitting into this results so select those results by pressing control and that tab next scatter plot next fitting same as in nonlinear curve fit next open dialog then user defined function and modifies compare equation further we have we can check any parameters equations etc So it's like uh, looking okay then i'm going to fit it and here some value are, uh, values have come i have to add those values to our expected values and next press it looks like our core fitting has done so we are going to finish it and okay and this is the result we have obtained 912 is maximum hydrogen production 52.8 is production rate and the lag time is 3.9 now i am going to export this Also, I can clear those contents and edit for writing purpose. Here I have written modifies Gumpers fit and given the unit of Y. So it's here. And next I am going to export it.
uh, here image type should be chosen which is eps and then file name where to save and what is the dpi resolution dpi resolution is in the export setting tab here you can set to 600 or 1200 for good picture please like and subscribe if you liked our video